Climate change. Everybody's talking about it, like, all the time. And if you are a non-believer, the eco-fascist set up this girl to yell at you. She's mean and angry. Even the Donald's afraid. But it's time somebody asked, is climate change real, or is it just another woke authoritarian hoax, like the moon landing? To expose the lies of the eco-fascists, I infiltrated a climate change cult based in Washington, D.C., and I spoke to its leader, Tom Matzi. Thank you for agreeing to participate in this interview. Before we start, I would like to make it clear that I will not be participating in any of your tree-hugging rituals, and I will not be buying a Tesla. Uh, you're missing out, but that's totally fine. Now tell me, if climate change is real, can you tell me why today it's colder than it was yesterday, even though we're going into the summer? Like, isn't the temperature supposed to be going up all the time? So uh, there's a difference between weather and climate. Weather is the kind of current conditions in the atmosphere or the conditions in the atmosphere at any one specific time, and climate is the average of those conditions or temperatures over a long period of time. And so average global temperatures have been increasing as carbon pollution has been increasing in the atmosphere. Okay, okay, I see you're gonna use terms like average global temperatures to try and confuse us. Next, I bet you were gonna show us a table like this one to try and prove to us that the average temperatures are going up. But how do you explain that this data isn't rigged when I turn this around and the line is still going up? Yeah, uh, that's not how charts really are supposed to work. There's like an x-axis and a y-axis and they're supposed to be like oriented correctly, but okay. And so all of this global warming is caused by carbon dioxide. Why don't we feel warmer when we drink a carbonated soda? Yeah, well the way that the carbon dioxide works in the atmosphere is uh, it absorbs the infrared energy that's being reflected back from the earth. And the problem is it's supposed to be mostly reflected back into outer space. But with the uh, carbon dioxide trapping the energy, it then emits it in multiple directions, including back to Earth. And that's called the greenhouse gas, of, uh, you know, the greenhouse effect. And there's nothing like that when you're drinking a soda. So it's getting hotter. Big deal. We'll just crank up the AC and we'll be fine. Yeah, no, I don't think that's going to work because uh, it's about the whole planet and uh, really about the impacts of climate on everything around us. So that includes the conditions that make it possible to grow food, the availability of water, which all of those things have driven where people have lived in the world for thousands of years. And so cities that are habitable now may not be habitable in the future. That will cause mass migrations. Mass migrations cause conflicts, cause war. Look, sure it's getting hotter for now, but can't we just count on technology to save us like it always has? Like it cured smallpox, it solved long distance travel and poor people. Like, can't we just send up some giant air conditioners into space and then they'll cool off the world? Like, how hard could it be? Well, um, technology has a very important role to play. There will be new technologies that help us uh, have a cleaner, you know, planet and clean, cleaner use of energy and other systems. Um, but you're not going to be conditioning, uh, air conditioning anything in outer space. There's no air in outer space. What is this science and logic? Aren't climate scientists just using this climate nonsense to get rich? or like score a role in the next apocalypse movie like Waterworld or Day After Tomorrow? I certainly don't think anyone is trying to get into uh, you know, the next Waterworld, but um, you know, there will be a lot of job opportunities in the climate transition for people across the entire economy building things. And you know, the, what we have to do to solve climate is rebuild essentially our entire infrastructure and our economy so that we operate it in a clean way that doesn't pollute the atmosphere. With another eco-fascist defeated by my superior mind, it's time to take a break and look forward to another lovely summer.